For Viola Prince, the past four years have been a struggle. Everyday tasks became more and more difficult as the pain in her right shoulder continued to get worse. Sometimes I would lift something and it would slip out of my hand or almost slip out of my hand. And then I start having trouble raising it all the way up. Sometimes it affects my driving a little bit. I use my left hand to drive with most of the time. Mm -hmm. And grocery shopping, if I, if I know it's too heavy, I don't even try to you pick it up. Or I will use my left hand or I will use both hands. And I've learned just looking at it to see when it's going to be too heavy. So to avoid the pain, I compensate and work around it. After two rotator cuff surgeries and little improvement, Miss Prince was referred to orthopedic surgeon Dr. Stephen Lemus at the DMC Surgery Hospital. Dr. Lemus is one of the leading surgeons in the state for performing what's called reverse shoulder surgery, a procedure for people who have severely damaged their rotator cuff or for whom rotator cuff surgery didn't work. For individuals that can't raise their arm, that have pain, and that our older individuals, we have an answer for them now, and we didn't have one for years. And let's first start with a, a regular uh, total shoulder replacement, one where people have an intact rotator cuff. So this is the arm bone, and here's the, the ball right here. You can see that, okay? And then the cup, you can see in here, right here, okay? So this would go on the arm bone, and so you can see the ball is on the ball side. This piece of plastic is the cup, and that would go in on the cup side, okay? In the reverse shoulder replacement, and I have two different models here, one where that in, in place you can see the ball is actually on the cup side, and the cup is on the ball side. And here's another model showing the prosthesis and here this is the right here that's the ball and here's the cup and again the cup is on the ball side and the ball is on the cup side what that allows there's a strong muscle here called the deltoid muscle and that allows the deltoid muscle to essentially function like the rotator cuff so now people can raise their arm up uh, they can uh, do things that they need to do for daily living plus uh, it takes care of their pain which are all good things. Miss Prince comes through the reverse shoulder surgery very well and meets with Dr. Lemus seven weeks after the procedure for a follow-up appointment. Tell me if it bothers you and I'll stop. How's that? Is that doing okay? Mm -hmm. And you know, your shoulder hasn't done that in a bit, right? No. no and that hurt a lot before, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Does that hurt much now? Not, not, not as far as you went. Yeah, not, and not like it did before, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. As part of her recovery, Ms. Prince goes to physical therapy three times a week to help restore both strength and movement. So we're trying to keep the motion as loose as possible and this is just a relaxation technique to keep it relaxed. So let's clasp our hands together now and we'll go up a little bit. That's high enough, good. So two months after surgery here at DMC Surgery Hospital, Ms. Prince was delighted to be able to pick things up, move her arm and shoulder easily, and be free from pain. Dr. Lemos calls reverse shoulder surgery a miracle for patients who up until just a few years ago had no other options and had to live with the pain. To learn more about reverse shoulder surgery and if it's right for you, or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Stephen Lemos at DMC Surgery Hospital, Log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Memory King.